You've heard the legends of people being swallowed by whales and coming out alive. But there's no way that a human could actually survive a trip inside one of these massive beasts, right? Wrong. In June 2021, lobster man Michael Packard was diving on the sea floor when he was hit by something big. Everything went dark and he immediately thought a shark had caught him. But he didn't feel any teeth digging into his flesh. Suddenly, everything around him began to squeeze his body. He was inside the mouth of a whale and it was trying to swallow him whole. Want to know how he fought his way out of the 30-ton mammal? Here's how to survive getting swallowed by a whale. There are two types of whales. Toothed whales, such as sperm whales, can eat giant squid in the deep sea, but they have no taste for humans. And there are baleen whales. These giants use a layer of bristles to eat small prey such as krill and little fish. They attack schools of krill or fish with their mouths wide open to catch as much food as they can. But like Michael, humans can get caught inside their deep, massive mouths. Once you get picked up in a whale's mouth, you don't have much time, so you better start thinking of an exit strategy. Is there breathable air inside a whale? How can you force it to spit you out? And how did one man spend three days inside a whale? Whales are amazing. Did you know that gray whales, a species of baleen whales, make the longest mammalian migration on Earth? Yes, they swim up to 19,000 kilometers from the Arctic to the northern coast of Mexico and back. Oh boy, I got distracted again. But Magellan TV's documentary archive just keeps growing and growing. This time I found this one called The Wild Pacific. It delves into the depths of the largest ocean on Earth, following its currents and the vast ecosystem that inhabits it, which allows whales and other fantastic creatures to thrive. I loved it because it shows how interconnected marine environments are and includes incredible original footage shot in the wild. But if wild animals aren't your thing, don't worry. There are a bunch of pretty wild human documentaries to watch too. Magellan TV has an extensive and harrowing collection of true crime full of chilling stories and mysteries that only humans could come up with. The thrill is guaranteed because Magellan TV was created by real filmmakers who are passionate about building the world's richest documentary hub, including science, space, physics, technology, travel, and history. Every week, they add 15 to 20 hours of new content, including a growing collection in 4K, with no ads, no exception. And you can watch it everywhere on all your devices and services, like Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Google Play, and iOS anytime. For only $4.99 a month with an annual subscription, you'll get over 3,500 hours of the most incredible documentaries. And as a How to Survive subscriber, you'll get a whole month for free to try it out just by clicking on the link in the description. Plus, you can take advantage of a special holiday offer, buy a gift card for an annual subscription, and get another one free by clicking on the link in the description. Can you imagine receiving the world's richest documentary archive for Christmas? Well, you can if you make it out of this giant whale alive. Stick around. We can help. Number three, the captured photographer. In 2019, nature photographer Rainer Schilt was diving off South Africa's coast, trying to get some cool shots of sharks feeding on a run of sardines. Suddenly, everything went black, and he felt a strong pressure around his waist. He got trapped inside the mouth of a bride's whale. As an experienced diver and nature photographer, he knew that a bride's whale's throat is not wide enough to swallow a human, but if the beast started to submerge, he would run out of oxygen and drown. All he could do was stay calm and wait for a chance to escape. 
His wife and one of his friends were horrified, watching the scene from a boat a few meters away. Fortunately, a couple of seconds later, the whale realized that Rainer was not a giant sardine and spat him out. Number two, the caught fisherman. American lobsterman Michael Packard realized that his entire body was inside a humpback whale. He could even feel the whale diving down. If he didn't free himself soon, he would run out of oxygen and die. Suddenly, everything around him started to crush him. The whale was trying to swallow him. He began to struggle, and he could tell his scuba gear was causing some discomfort to the whale. He continued fighting. A few seconds later, the whale's mouth opened. Michael could see light again. The whale shook its head until it expelled the lucky lobster man. He was alive and well, but he had spent about 40 seconds inside the mammal. Other fishermen rescued him from the water and took him to the hospital. He had only broken one leg. Before we move on to our last story, let's see what we can learn from these survivors' experiences. Both Michael and Rainer were very close to schools of fish, which whales and sharks eat. That would make them vulnerable to being gobbled up by a 30-ton beast trying to catch as much food as it can. But both men were experienced divers, and they were wearing professional diving equipment that allowed them to keep breathing while trapped inside the whale's mouths. After the whales freed them, their crews immediately helped them. Finally, they also knew that the whales cannot swallow humans, which helped them stay calm and find ways to survive. If you are not an experienced diver with professional equipment and the support of other professionals, do not even try to swim near these gentle but dangerous giants. Number 1. The Biblical Hoax In 2015, many media outlets reported the incredible story of a Spanish fisherman who fell overboard during a terrible storm and got swallowed by a whale. The first report said that Luigi Marquez survived for three days inside the giant animal by eating the raw fish in its stomach. Then the whale ejected Marquez into the water. Yep, like the biblical parable of Jonah. The story even included a picture of Luigi. But according to other media that questioned the story, he turned out to be a man named Mike. Finally, marine biologist Helen Scales assured the BBC that there is no breathable air inside a whale. So Luigi, or Mike, would have died long before the three days he claimed to be inside the whale. Although Luigi may not exist, the waters around the world are full of unexpected threats and dangers. There's even a place known as the Diver's Cemetery. Want to know where it is? Keep watching here on How to Survive.